So I'm back in Oslo after a few months of traveling. And I yet don't have a place to stay. I just went here because I have an opening for a job and I need to act quickly. So I bought the train ticket. And now here's where I pay the price for minimalist living. This is way too much. It's a bicycle, it's a guitar, it's a blender, and it's a bag full, pack full of fruits and clothes. I ask myself, do I need a bicycle? Hell yeah, I need a bicycle. Do I need a guitar? Yeah, I need a guitar. I want to play the guitar. So I need to pay the price if that comes of carrying the, the guitar and the bicycle around. And do I need a blender? Well, I could get a new blender. It's good to have a blender where here when you live in a non-tropical country where you have to eat a lot of dates and stuff so I carry the blender it's, it's fucked, I can't carry this I'm stuck here at the, at the plaza I'm gonna mount a bike and see if it gets easier to carry it around good luck Kimmen so I called about a room just now I'm gonna look at it tomorrow. Maybe it all works out. Easy. No worries. Maybe not. Still, no worries. It's not gonna help me. Hope for the best. Don't want to carry these things around too much longer. I had a friend who helped me at the central station. I made it to this park. This is his bag. And. Uh, I'm gonna sleep at a friend's place tonight. So I'm enjoying myself playing some guitar at the park here. And it's, the weather is awesome. Don't worry, be happy. guy with the room didn't show up yesterday so spending the time hanging out at the outdoor gym it could be worse I'm gonna look at the room now today four o'clock and I called and mailed lots of rooms it's a tricky business here I'm gonna enjoy this watermelon looks good went to see the room I was talking about and it was an experience. Bums sitting in the stairway, smoking and stuff like that. I figured, uh, okay, this is interesting. And when we came to the, the, the top floor and she opened the door, the smell from the apartment was like horrible, like mold, fungus, crap, and the furniture is there was no furniture, so it was like just pallets with plates, wooden plates on top of it. Which I'm fine with, it's creative, but the smell, like I would have been sick living there. And the room was even worse. Not, it was not an apartment, it was more like a storage place. They rented out the room and there were like just small lockers on the doors. The doors, you, you would have kicked them in with with like your little finger it said in the ad that the the room was gonna be 21 square meters it was not <laughs> it was about like 13 14 maximum <laughs> like 6500 Norwegian crowners for that which is about 700 euro a month I said you know what I will think about it <laughs> I'm not that picky with rooms but I can't live with it smells like that <laughs> my fruit would have gone bad in that room <laughs> so I'm still searching for a room the peaches are good now found this great swing by the way search for a home goes on biking around in Oslo 
now I don't have the weather on my side anymore, it's starting to rain. It's starting to rain so much that the tree is not the safe spot anymore. What are you gonna do? I've been calling so many so many ads. Like all of us all the places are full and There's got to be a room for me in this city. I'm positive. There's got to be a room for me. I'm the king of the sand Of the ocean